Hello everyone, welcome to Dart Tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to write and how to run your first Dart program. It is very very easy to write and easy to run your Dart program. You will also learn to create a full Dart project and run the code there. So let's begin. In order to run the program on your computer, first of all, you need to install Dart and Visual Studio code on your computer. If you haven't installed Visual Studio Code and Dart SDK on your computer, please do watch our previous video or you can also go to this section, install Dart section and, uh, and here you can see how to install Dart on Windows, here is also video and how to install Dart on Mac, here is also video. You can follow this video and learn how to install Dart on your operating system. So let's move to basic Dart program. Here in desktop, you can see here is one folder called Dart. Here I am uh, just uh, going to right click in the white space and uh, click on open with code. It will open this folder in Visual Studio Code. Uh, okay, let's write our first program. I will write first dot Dart. You need to write Dart at the end of file name okay dot that is compulsory for that program okay first of all in your dart program you need to write main function just void main void main it is main method or this is also called main function uh, our program execution start from main function if you want to print your name in that just write print and parenthesis inside this parenthesis write double quotation and just print something i am printing bisoras powdell i am printing my name just save this file save and if you want to run this file click on terminal and click on new terminal then type dart and one give one space and file name file name is first dot dart okay here you can see the output Biswaras Powdell got printed. Similarly, you can also print uh, other stock, other statement like uh, Milan Raj. Then I am also printing Hello World. Hello World is a program that programmers write at the first while learning programming. Okay. Okay. Here you can see the output, Biswaras Powdell, Milan Raj and Hello World. You can also uh, introduce yourself with a print statement like my name is this, I live in this and my age is this. You can practice uh, on your own. Okay, in this way you can write your Dart program. Uh, inside this print statement, if you write single quotation, then it will be okay that support both single quotation and double quotation if you start with single quotation then you must end with uh, single quotation okay let's uh, see uh, documentation okay here is the explanation of basic dart program void main is the starting point where the execution of your program begins this is main function our executions of uh, execution of program begins from here this curly bracket is the starting curly bracket and this curly bracket is ending curly bracket and uh, the curly bracket represent the beginning and ending block of code. This means starting block and this means ending block. You can see uh, print hello world prints hello world on screen. This print hello world. If I remove everything just uh, here you can see hello world in inside main function and if I run this program okay here you can see hello world got printed this print hello world prints hello world on screen each code statement must end with semicolon at the end of each statement this is one statement at the end you must write semicolon if you want to print 5 plus 5 then uh, it is the numeric value it is a calculation value so you uh, you if you write quotation here then it will just print 5 plus 5 if you remove the quotation it will print the 10 it will calculate the value and it will print the 10 
uh, for the string value you can write uh, single quotation or double quotation for the numeric calculation value you can just write the uh, operation which you want to perform you will learn about variable and uh, this string later in this tutorial okay let's uh, write our first dart program for printing name okay we already print our name but let's write another program to print our name i'm writing print name dot dart and first of all you need to write void main void main it is the starting point of our application and just write uh, i'm writing declaring one variable name is equal to Pistoras and just i'm printing name my name is my name is dollar name this dollar means we are using this variable okay let's run this program that print name dot that print name dot that okay here you can see the output my name is Viswaraj got printed in this way you can print your name you can declare the variable here variable name is name and this one is variable here name is a container which is storing value Viswaraj and uh, if you do not write dollar if I do not write dollar then it will print my name is name if you write dollar then it will sort for the variable and print that value here okay let's see another program basic dart program to join one or more variables okay let me create another file join dot dart okay let's create a two variable var first name okay first of all we need to write a main method main method okay inside main method var first name first name is equal to Viswaraj and var last name last name is equal to powder powder okay let's print our full name okay print my full name is dollar first name and one space and dollar last name in this way you can print your full name let's run the program dot join dot dot okay here you can see my full name is Viswaraj Paudel in this way you can uh, join two string this is also called string interpolation we will learn about string later uh, basically you can join two string that is called string interpolation in that okay let's write that program for basic calculation okay for uh, that I am creating a new file basic dot that and here i am writing main method first of all you need to write a main method and just write variable num1 i am defining num1 is 10 and variable num2 i am defining num2 is 3 okay let's calculate the sum variable sum is equal to num1 num1 plus num2 Similarly, variable difference is equal to difference is equal to num1, okay, num1 minus num2. Similarly, variable multiplication is equal to num1 into num2, variable division is equal to num1 slash num2, okay. Okay, let's print the result. I am writing print the sum is sum is dollar sum and the difference is dollar difference the multiplication is dollar multiplication and the division is dollar division okay here you can see the complete program okay if I run this program okay I am opening terminal and dot our file name is basic dot dot so write uh, basic basic dot dot okay here you can see the sum is 13 the difference is 7 the multiplication is 30 the division is 3 point something 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 in this way 
you can write your basic calculation in Dart. Okay, let's move forward. And uh, if you want to create a full project, if you need to manage the configuration, if you need to manage the package, and if you need to manage the asset file, then it's a good idea to create a full uh, Dart project. If you want to create a full Dart project, then here is one command that is Dart create and project name. So let's create a Dart project. In the Dart folder, I am going to create a project. First of all, I am going to removing all of the stuff here and just type CMD. Okay. And here I am writing Dart create project name. Let me give a project name is my first app. Okay. My first app. It will generate some code for us. You can see uh, here in this folder, it will create some file, but don't worry. We'll also work basically work on one or two file. Okay. I will open this, uh, all of the files with Visual Studio Code. Okay. Here you can see here are different file readme.md. This contains the project description, pubspec.ml. If you want to use the external package, uh, then you can uh, use the, this file basically in pop.dev basically in here pop.dev you can find uh, all of the packages if you uh, want to use external package you can find here and we'll also learn uh, about this later okay and uh, okay here is another file pubspec.log and changelog.md basically uh, in most of the situation in 99 of the percent of the situation uh, you will use this bin folder this lib folder and this pubspec.ml folder other folder are not so necessary for now okay let's go to bin folder and here you can see my first app dot that i will remove this one and i am going to print i also want to remove this one just i want to print hello old okay hello old okay now let's run this project in order to run the dart project it is a dart project so you need to write dart run okay just go to terminal and type dart run okay here you can see hello old got printed if you want to uh, write other statement then you can write here thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end if you have any suggestion or if you have any question then comment down below and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching